Now this is unique. Okay, well, that answers that. I always forget how overpowering in-game music can be. <laughs> it seems loud. Uh, I've got a bunch of mods on and I don't even really know... If uh, you're catching this later and any of this seems off, this is my very first YouTube stream. Wonder is kind of the generic start. It's one of my favorite starts. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I've got a, I think I've got a couple made up from previous game. <laughs> Big iron, <laughs> come on. Okay, that's a skeleton. Um, hmm. All right, let's give this guy a beard and some better hair. That's about right. And yep, yep, got it. And check. Perfect. Uh, body, we'll leave it as is. I think this guy's pretty hungry when he starts out, or normal. <laughs> mm. What should we name this guy? What should we make his... I kind of want his weapon choice to just come through. I just want it to happen. Um, start off small. Let's name this guy Stone. We're gonna keep it Earth oriented for naming as uh, as these guys die. So I wish I could tell you what mods I had on, but I'd have to start back at the beginning. Ooh, or, or whatever they are, they're making the game a little choppy. Should clear up though as things load in. Okay, off to a great start. 
So normally, uh, if you're starting a wanderer start, this is where I come all the time. Uh, I already have a video of it actually on YouTube, but this small shack in the hub is the only one um, that's together and not just a pile. And it belonged to an old Holy Nation priest. And there's usually, they randomly spawn, but there's usually food and a lot of good items that you can sell. Fabric, sell those. And there's two beds here, uh, which you don't have to pay to use, and they're perfectly safe. I mean, safe is relative in Kenshi. Also, this chest usually has some pretty decent... Uh, decent stuff inside let's speed this up a bit It's not a lot for that stuff, but uh, the grog and the cactus room, those are really lucky finds right out of the gate. So, I'm obviously running dark UI. I think I've got sheet ants, tweaks, and fixes on, and possibly reactive world, as well as some furniture mods, which uh, are supposed to make furniture appear faction specific. Faction specific furniture. Try and say that five times. Uh, now, normally I would probably keep fabric for a shelter. I'm not too worried about it right now. And I do not want that iron club at all. So we're at 2,700 here. Uh, what can we buy? I could buy a katana. First aid's the priority right now. Uh, research. Are, oh, noble furniture. Security storage solutions. That's interesting. This must be from that mod. And this was one I was actually really looking forward to was wanted posters. They actually, somebody actually put in an effort to make uh, wanted posters for Kenshi instead of just those little cards, which is awesome. And it'll really fit in well with this guy, being that I want to make him a bounty hunter. Uh, so we have food. We have a little bit of first aid. I really wish there had been some splints here. The next thing I want to get my hands on is a pair of sandals. Uh, the only town we know of in the area is going to be Squin. This is where I really wish that Kenshi played its music more frequently. Ooh. Hungry bandits. And they've got, um, hopefully just sticks to club me to death. I'm out. My god, look at how fast they are. You think because they're starving that they would be moving much more slowly. Like, I'm looking at him, okay? What are his athletics? 
Run speed 14. What's mine? Run speed 16. Okay, we should be okay. Uh, good guy, bad guy, Masaru of the Tech Hunters. Actually, this could work out. Are those hungry? Are any of those hungry bandits still chasing? No. You can use Tech Hunters to kill all sorts of things for you. I need it so much better. I'm constantly adjusting my monitors. It's a terrible habit. I'm, <laughs> I'm never gonna be consistently good at a first person shooter for that reason. Thanks. Uh, so assuming that we can i need to change some settings here uh let's take oh, okay so we're already there global population multipliers uh, apparently by default or me set it four four times the normal uh population and we have town event raids so, okay yeah we're good we're good dismemberment frequent everything is as it should be I'm surprised I didn't run into, I only ran into a single group of bandits and a single tech hunter on the way here, that's all. The budgie. Savage. Uh, so your first priority on any solo Iron Man is to get a bag and get first aid. Everything else is kinda, kinda secondary. Um, even first aid over food because you can go without food for a really really long time i can't stand this what are we waiting for we're warriors not peasants you're looking kind of peasanty from where i'm standing a little just a touch just a sprinkling of peasantry uh, okay like I was saying, first priority on any solo Iron Man uh, is first aid, then a backpack. Early on, anyways. Ideally, I had 3,000 and I could grab that one. Um, I could probably get there. Oh, I could definitely get there. Doing it. Okay, <laughs> now I wonder if I can even afford first aid. I can't. I will ditch the holy flame and these pants because I need a splint. And I wish I had enough money for a bedroll, but I don't. The bag will be worth it, I hope, or the playthrough will be over. One of those two things is going to happen. Okay, next destination, Admag should be up here somewhere. And we're going to look to get to bag check. Ooh. Uh, we're going to get to a set of ruins in here somewhere. There's a lot of loot to be had, specifically a lot of long... <laughs> There's a lot of long shek swords there. <laughs> and they're worth quite a bit of money, despite their degenerated state. A lot of them are just rusty junk. Baby steps in the beginning. You can't be too... Can't be too brazen uh, when you're starting out a solo Iron Man when all your skills are 
near to zero. Okay, Berserkers, they're gonna mince, they're gonna turn me into mince meat if I'm not careful, but it looks like they're fighting somebody. So after having just finished saying, uh, let's not be too brazen, I'm gonna go right ahead and see if I can be a bit of an opportunist here and loot. Uh, cause, so the Shek Scouts, actually the Shek Scouts outnumber those guys by a lot. I'm still gonna take the opportunity to get some sneak, some stealth here. Oh, dogs as well. Nice. Wait, wait. Why does this dog have a backpack on? Oh, wait, no, I have a backpack on. Don't mind me. I promise I've played this game more than any other. Uh, this stuff will actually sell for a lot in the event I can't get anything better to sell, but these Berserkers should have some pretty serious swords to part ways with. Uh, yeah, there's a thousand. Um, that's kind of awesome. Extra awesome, free first aid. I also wonder if they might have bounties, because if they have bounties, I could sell them. Sell them. <laughs> it does not appear so, but they're going to get up soon. So I've got to make this quick, or I'm their next victim. I could go heavy weapons. There's a lot of heavy weapons I'm picking up right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Is this guy standing up? Oh, I just took it from him. I'm okay with that. That'll sell for a lot. Okay, so let's just double check here. Did I get them all? Are they all disarmed, actually, is the really the big question here. Playing dead. Actually unconscious. Almost awake. Now, they do have pretty rough chest wounds. What are we looking at here? 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, uh, 6,000-ish. Do I... I'm going to head back. 6,000 is a pretty big... is a pretty good haul. Uh-oh. Um, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hustle. Why is he coming after me? Okay. 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 Hold on. Where's this guy hurt? Chest. I just need to get lucky and punch him in the chest i'm done for okay what do we think do we take a swing at him all he's doing is going to be trying to punch me i'm doing it stone and the barbarian is more like it Ooh, okay Okay, no, his friends are getting up. You got to deal with this. Get lucky. Oh, and I hit his leg. I hit his leg. That might slow him down. Can we hustle? Hustle? That's not. Put some. Put some. Put some vinegar into it. Oh no, they're healing each other. I knew I should have taken more first aid. Hit him in the chest. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. Oh, you can't dodge that. Come on. That's it. Time to get out of here. Taking his first aid. No, you don't have to fight. We don't have to do this. Oh, he's coming. No, he's not. He's healing his friend. Yeah, just walk away. Just stone cold. It's kind of actually more like a businessy. Kind of kind of like a businessy walk. Dexter. Yeah, me too. Me too. Hey, first you do, how do I, oh, how do I make you into a? There's a whole list of things I can do and I don't know how to make you a moderator. <laughs> uh, I should pay attention in case berserkers come flying over the hill to murder me. Or I run into skin spiders, or worse still, hungry poor people. But I want to see if I can make you into a mod somehow. If you want.
easy. How's the stream quality, by the way? YouTube has uh, pretty good encoding. Even when I'm going light speed. Ooh, am I hearing somebody else or is he just getting faster? Mm -hmm. Uh, nomads. Actually, that's not bad. We can get a dog. I think dog squall. Okay. You're allowed to have a dog in a solo Iron Man. It, I made the rules. Those are my rules. It doesn't count because it can't revive you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Bone dog. Pack bull. Pack bull. So, if you're going to be buying a pack animal on your on your playthrough at all, make sure that you're getting a um, wild bull and go and buy a bull backpack. Or buy a pack bull and a wild bull, take the pack off the pack bull, and then release it. I don't know if I want a dog. I think I do. I think I do. Uh, I don't have the money yet. Okay, look, we're going to the same place. I'm willing to bet. So you guys hang around town for a few minutes or sprint away from me. Awesome. Mike, visuals, we're all good. This is the first YouTube stream, so it's... I don't have a lot of experience here. Uh, okay. Nice. I really like this plank. Some more of that. I'll get one of those. Bedroll, without a doubt. Uh, we have meat. I don't really need to invest in a ration pack just yet. Now that I've got a bit of money, uh, what you there's kind of two ways you can go about this. Um, get yourself geared up with good armor. Preferably not shoddy, grade, medium armor stolen from a berserker somewhere in the wilderness. Tech Hunter's notes on the Holy Nation. Okay, we're going to keep that, and I'm going to keep my eye out for the recipe to be able to make a shelter. I think it's called a mercenary tent or something like that. But it protects you against uh, acid and the satellite beams from the sky. That second one is really the one we care about. Because inevitably you end up in Venge, surrounded by an army of angry, headless robots. And uh, it's easier to fight them when you're not worried about satellite beams destroying your face. I wonder if hacker heavy weapons this time is the, uh, the go-to. I always utilize a variety of different weapons. Um, but that's later, kind of later on. And I'm not as familiar with the landscape uh, in this playthrough because there are a lot of mods on it. Hmm. It's in my price range. <laughs> so, 20 minutes in, off to a pretty, pretty healthy start for a solo Iron Man. We have a weapon. I'll just wait for the sporadic music to stop trying to drown me out.
we're almost through the worst of it, I think. So I, not everybody might agree with my backpack choice, right? Uh, but you can always put your backpack down, put it in your inventory. You'll still get the weight penalty, but the weight penalty is not that bad for combat. The Preacher. That is a... That should definitely pay you more than 15000 One of the hardest bounties in the whole game. As a, as a solo. Josh, I couldn't agree more. I could not agree more. I've got thousands and thousands of hours in this game, and I still find it fun. And the modding community is a blessing. Uh, I'm going to head upstairs and sleep quickly. Make up this last bit, little bit of life. I was hoping to find the... Uh, I was really hoping to find the nomads. What do we think? What are the odds that they're in the bar? Or did they just skip right through town? It kind of looks nomad-ish. I bet you if I follow that back beast, I'll find them. Unless the animals are just patrolling. So it says patrolling town. So the nomads must be in the bar. I'm the world's greatest detective. Upstairs? Nomad leader, perhaps. Yes. Does that guy want to fight me right now? He would destroy me. Uh, show me what you have. Okay, we're taking the bone dog. I should take a pack beast, but we're taking the bone dog. Uh, bone dog's name. Main character's name Stone, Bone Dog. Help me out here. Names are the hardest. Um. This is tough. Helmet, Stone, and Helmet. No, Stone and. Stone and something's got to go with stone. Chisel. We'll name the dog Chisel. There you go. Thematic. Uh, okay. So, bodyguard stone. I don't think I'm going to babysit the dog too much. Um, meat's in the backpack so we can eat as needed. You can also put meat on the ground and they'll actually just go right and grab it. Uh, I would like to sleep and get this healed up. This last little bit of chest and stomach damage. Then I'm actually going to pick the dog up and carry it with me everywhere I go for a little bit. That'll help improve my strength while wearing this backpack and remaining pretty encumbered. Uh, okay. Where to now? I think our adventure is going to take us to the border zone. Uh, I'm going to head to the base of the chicken claw. It's kind of what I call this area here. You can't really see it as well with the uh, red lines, but this, to me, appears like some sort of gimbaled chicken's claw. So I'm going to head there. Hopefully we survive the trip. Now, it's going to be slow going a little bit in the beginning, right? On any solo game, because you only have yourself to rely on. Uh, you have to be a little extra careful. For instance, right here. Um, the guards are going to kill these guys. Hit the road, festering bandits. Oh, did I just get shot? Let's kill him, puppy. Oh, damn. I need to ditch this backpack. 
Okay, we're getting in. We're going in for him. Is there anything good here? Mm. Bounty, maybe? No bounty either. Oh, if we can get a crossbow out of this, perfect. Perfect. Uh, any better crossbow? A short cleaver? That's a sweet side weapon. I might sell it, though, depending. I'm going to grab all these. We need all the money we can get. Uh, even these for now. 89? Mm. I kind of wish these were better. Crossbow's a crossbow, though. Uh, you know, that said, they're all pretty good weapons. Where's my dog? There you are with an arm. That's so great. Back into town. Sometimes you get lucky like this too, right? Um, are you kidding me? What kind of armor store isn't open at 5.30 in the morning? This is Stone's unimpressed face. Where's my dog? Chisel. Just bounding along happily, arm in mouth. Got eight severed human left arm. <laughs> best part is I'm not walking by choice right now I am <laughs> but before I was not chisel just walked into a corner she's not the brightest <laughs> as if apparently you can't uh, talk shit about your bone dog or they growl at you they can hear you Skynet's live. I kind of want to sell this. I don't know if I want to do heavy weapons. I'm I'm leaning towards maybe a hacker crossbow combo here now that I've got this short cleaver. I wish I could get a better quality short cleaver. Hmm. Maybe I'll go heavy and crossbow and sell the short cleaver. Let's start with that. Okay. Uh, can I buy any better armor now that I've got 3,500? We've got our standard. And maybe I can get some standard armored rag skirt. I can. Now, this also gives me a martial arts bonus and custom emotes if they haven't already. I don't what what are, what are your options right now dexos oh my god you must be having emote withdrawal are you okay <laughs> okay second attempt at leaving town not that the first one went badly uh, not by any stretch Whoa. Hello, heavy polearm. That is pretty good. You know what? I don't often I don't often do polearm, so maybe we'll start there. We'll start with a polearm. It's just not something that I that I often pick up. I imagine it's probably one of the better weapons in the game. Maybe I go all in on pole arms and turn stone into a wandering peaceful monk carrying a staff. <laughs> Max speed right now. This guy is giving it all he's got. Uh, upside though. 
our strength is going to be skyrocketing, right? Well, this is not promising. An escape slave in a recovery coma and a bone dog. Okay. We've got some showdown music happening right now. Let's see what we can do here. Get a shot off, maybe? Nope, that's it. Helping the dog. Oh. Oh, oh, God. Block. Block with all you got. Kill him, Chisel. Don't you hurt my dog. Boom. Okay. Perfect. That was the perfect amount of teamwork. Remember, always restomp that groin. Take the hide and the meat off the dog or just one, one of either one of each hide or meat if you're uh, attacked by an animal if you're beset by several and uh it'll die instantly wow chisel's putting on right now for the team really doing most of the work prisoner shackles are pretty heavy uh, recovery coma, escape slave. Oh. And I could pick that lock on the shackles, actually, for quite a bit of lock picking experience. I think it was kind of 20% or something. Uh, wow, yeah, where are we going? I should actually make my next stop the hub to heal up, because I will definitely need to heal up before I make my way all the way to the uh, chicken's claw. It also involves crossing a small portion of Swampy Ravine here, which is packed full of bandits. And if you've got a pet like me, don't forget that Hungry Bandits will eat your dog if they knock you out and knock your dog out. Pretty rough, pretty rough shape right now. Hmm. I actually wonder if I can splint my injuries at all. All right. I'm, I'm just going to get what lock picking experience I can out of this. And hopefully my... Okay, never mind. That's that. Um... Hopefully my lock picking experience went up a little bit. I am going to lay out a camp. Does this look like a good area? Or does this look like a kind of looks like a path, right? That a lot of different people would use. Um, I'm thinking right here. So you also have to be fairly careful when choosing campsites. You have to try your very best. This see this looks perfect. You have to try your very best to avoid somewhere that the AI are going to be pathing. Can I get up there even? Oh, it's yeah, no, definitely. It's just taking a sweet time. Kind of defeats the purpose. We're sleeping beside the log. Kind of protected. Oh, that's awesome. So I, I guess one of these mods that I have is a new animation pack. And uh, this is the one for cooking beside a fire. Oh. 
which is awesome. like he just blacked out okay um dust storm is happening the dog is standing watch we have our little uh scrapyard campsite i like to leave fires every time i set up a camp from every camp that i set up <laughs> this is fine Wow, that was actually perfect. Did you make that? Or did you actually find that? awesome i didn't know i didn't i mean maybe i'm way behind the times when it comes to meme generation there's some somebody fighting kind of down in this valley that turned out to be a sweet campsite accidentally awesome I would just probably have a library of Kenshi memes. I mean, there's a lot of situations that could easily be made into memes in this game. You know what? I don't think I ever realized how green this was. There's just yellow, yellow and blue. It looks more like a gasoline stain than anything else. Pro tip, always keep an eye on your auto-pathing dog. You will leave them behind at the worst possible time. I have global population set to times four. And I'm on rocket speed. I'm just really overweight. Sweet, sweet hub. Almost home. That looks tough as nails already. Only seven, nine strength. Nine strength, we're getting there. Wandering assassin.
I guarantee the dog eats that before I do. The red bandit. That's a that's also a tough one. I'm gonna start picking up all of these wanted posters and stockpiling them. I don't think I need anything else here. <clears throat> wow, thirty two hundred. Minus junk. I'm going to try to cross the river there. Um, these are all pretty nasty crossings for bandits. I'm going to try to come down here and get out right here. That and my guy runs at the speed of smell. I bet I can just put this away and maybe... No, does that, does that slow me down even more? Oh yeah, it does. What about the dog? The dog is long gone. Just abandoned by his master. I may have to move them uh, as, a, as a group. I was hoping that the dog would just keep up. Especially considering I'm, in, I'm so encumbered. Maybe I'll just go down right here. It's more time in the river, which I wanted to avoid, but it's closer, closer entrance. Just get it over with. Yeah, I'm going to have to split. I'm going to have to get these guys going at the same speed. Hmm. Still haven't settled on what kind of weapon I'd like to use. Maybe I'm, I might even consider martial arts goats. those goats were coming back I would absolutely have engaged those dust bandits this is actually going to be pretty tough um, to squeak by these guys I think I don't know if getting any high ground like there's a lot of them probably just eat my dog too hmm hmm <laughs> How are we going to get around this? That's the... Just so also happens to be the exact direction that I need to travel. Nomads. Okay, I got a plan. Oh, they're just veering off. Perfect. Plan success. We're going to have to pick up the dog. And what's this guy? Little dust bandit bowman. Looks like an army of nomads are about to sort those guys out. Yeah, Dextrose. I don't even know what all the rules are surrounding playing music on YouTube or how that works. I imagine since the algorithm is, you know, from here that uh, it wouldn't work out too well. A 
unknown tower. I think that's the Dust King's tower. Pretty sweet spot for a little, uh, maybe a little soul Iron Man base here. You got your wall. I mean, no way out. Kind of, kind of like a helm steep situation, but <laughs> little wall, little gate, maybe six walls back to back. It's just you alone on a turret. It could work. I've only done solo Iron Man base building a few times and only once really successfully I prefer to buy a house in a city and kind of make that my my launch point or a house in each city and uh, decorate them that way so this is not the exit I wanted to take but I think think it'll work yeah <laughs> that is 100% the dust kings tower and those are a bunch of dust bandits this might not work out Slave mongers. Okay, so this could get a bit dicey too. Sometimes slave mongers just decide that you are their slave today. Uh, we are headed in the right direction though. There's a the bar that we're headed to is directly down here. Those hungry bandits just getting destroyed by the nomads. Flip flops! How serendipitous. So, as I was saying at the beginning, get your hand on a set of flip flops as quickly as you can. Can I just shoot this guy point blank? <laughs> Where's the dog going? Why are you being crazy? Uh, it would be pretty good training for me. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go beat up on these guys. I'm gonna get jumped by dust bandits. Oh, slavers, even worse. Are all your previous characters dead, or were you just bored of them being too strong? Nix, I don't understand the question. Um, previous, oh my goodness, bad guys. Previous characters, as in other playthroughs? Um, yeah, all of them are dead, actually. Except for one, and he is ridiculously strong, and I'm probably about to be dead. Uh, have a plan, have a plan, have a plan. I also, Sheetan's tweaks and fixes might add limbs to their arms, or I have a mod on called Racial Diversity. You might die. Oh, beauty shot. Right? Okay. Uh, I'm going to need to do this. 
and put him on block. And this is where Chisel comes in. Oh, it didn't work. It's not working. This guy's pretty tough. Oh, okay. Off block. Run away! Chisel! Oh, they hit the dog. You handle that one, Chisel. Look at this teamwork right now. Oh no, the dog! That guy's got a... <laughs> no, the dog! I'm sorry, Chisel, I never should have let you fight on your own. I don't know if I'm going to win this. Oh, it'll be a tough one. And they're hitting me a lot. And I'm bleeding. There it is. Nope. We got to get them in the same direction. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm down to one arm. Mm, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Okay. Dog situation. Probably not going to die. Surroundings. Mm, big picture. Just us in the dust bandits. <laughs> Their situation. Hurt. Not that badly hurt. Spread out my damage too far. They got my arm. What have I got available to me? Just a heavy pole arm. Okay. Bag on the ground. I've got a plan here. We're going to create some distance if I can. And first aid. Oh, I really wish I didn't have to fix my chest first. I gotta heal this arm up. Oh, is he gonna go try and cook my dog? That'd be a bad mistake. He was obviously terrified because I was willing to kneel down before him and grovel. Now, downside. Did my... Okay, no, my backpack is still there. I was going to say, did my bag uh, actually vanish? And we're okay here. Hmm. Oh, wow. Who are they fighting now? Slavers? Perfect. Well, it's actually kind of unfortunate I didn't get knocked down. If I had been knocked down and still able... Oh, wow. Dying. I've got you, Chisel! And I don't think I can splint my own left arm. I could be wrong. Oh, I... Mm. Can I not? No, it's got to be the arm thing. Okay, uh, we got the dog. Okay, with your arm... weirdest campsite ever goats uh in a pinch if you're feeling safe which i'm feeling pretty safe uh there's goats and slave mongers nearby now understanding that slave mongers could also uh take this opportunity to just pick me up out of bed and carry me off that's happened before I just need my arm to get uh, back up into the positive so I can carry things again. Okay, off to the way station. I still, I'm calling this a win so far. Still alive, that's a big one. But on top of that, uh, Chisel, also still alive. 1,500 cats. 
Almost made it to the way station. Not too worse for wear. Mm-mm. Hmm. Spoke too soon. Sometimes you just gotta run. Sometimes you gotta specifically run into a group of angry slave traders and save your own life. I just get shot in the back of the head. <clears throat> Stone drools a lot now. Is this the boss too? Pfft. You made a bad mistake. Defend yourself. Oh god. Okay, that's it. Fight back. Done for. That might actually be it. Well, slave mongers. Okay, unless they're caught in this endless slave mongery battle. But uh, looks like Chisel gonna be on her own for a little while. Although I also might die. Precious few seconds here, slave mongers. Come on. Come, come. Come, come. Now's the time. Heal me. Oh, the dog might eat me. Nope. You guys are awfully busy taking slaves all the way over there. I'm gonna die. This is it. Any new character suggestions? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take any, anything, really. More slave mongers. <sighs> Negative 59, we're getting there. We're about to cross the threshold. So many slaves, so little time. Seventy-five. Eighty. No, no, no. Eighty-six. Tip on playing. Don't die. Uh, tip received. Tip received and shit I spoke too soon. I'm done for. Come on. Ninety six. Let's go. Ninety eight. It's never been closer. He's gone again. Are you kidding me? That's amazing. All right. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> One moment. We're going to come up with a a brand new playthrough here. We're going to I'm breaking the cardinal rule. I'm starting a game within a game. And now I feel like, so Bounty Hunter was one thing. I feel like we move on to, we just upgrade him a little bit. Let's go Samurai Bounty Hunter, son of a captain. Respected captain of the United Cities Army. He was killed in action and after burning through your meager savings looking for work, you find yourself penniless and hungry with nothing left but your father's trusty katana and the shirt on your back. The United Cities are still your allies, but you will need them if you run in any troops from the Holy Empire. Those guys really hate you. <laughs> Rap. Hey, that was a that was a solid run. All 
Okay. Citizen. Wow, that is about as generic as it gets. Uh, let's just go right ahead and import somebody. I guess it could be any any uh, culture as well here because we're in the United Cities. <laughs> Peace. King. King? Look at the size of that hiver. He's pretty tall. Is he tall? No, he's 102. King. We need to change. Can we change his skin color? No, not at all. Wow, you know what? I've got a ton of mads, mo mads. I've got a ton of mods packed on here, but not a single one of them uh, appears to be any hiver custom. Why is he gigantic? I mean, look at this guy. And why do you start in the hub as a United Cities captain's son? It's actually unfortunate that uh, I chose United Cities Captain Sun and went with a Hiver. I think I need to get into the Holy Nation at some point here. Oh, wow. Uh... Oh, and you start with food. That's a bonus. Is there another... And these are hungry bandits. Where's their leader? Oh, what am I thinking? I can't wear shoes anyways. Is there no <laughs> is there no bartender here? Did they attack the bartender? They definitely absolutely attacked the bartender. Where is that guy? Trade ninja? Maybe that's him. I'll just wait a sec. Let him finish taking out the trash. <laughs> this guy, no, just brushing, you know, blood and dirt off his shirt from whooping ass. Oh, wow. You also serve with a pretty nice katana as a United Cities captain's son. Wanted L's. Fat as a bug house. Bar thefts. Okay, not so bad. Can't, can't even really see his shirt, though, can you? Oh, I messed up. I made a mistake. Uh, so, is there a way to check? I think I can just check, right? There it is. That's what I'm using right now. No problemo. Up one of these guys. Uh, and let's make our way all the way to the United Cities. So, uh, we're going to do this in probably the worst way possible. We're going to take that exact same route that we just took. 
No looking back. I'm going to play this character a little more responsive to his situations and a little less I want to be the best bounty hunter in the world. For instance, right now, I'm about to die. <laughs> Actually, this should be a fairly interesting experience for everybody involved. I'm just going to let this happen. Oh, God. So many attack slots. <laughs> I'm just getting beat up. <sighs> We're not going out like this. Oh, God. One of them's got a sword. That's not great. Oof. Dodged it. Okay, all right, now we're picking up speed. What are you doing against this tree? Get out of this. Get away from this tree. Okay. This is intentional. They backed me to a corner. That's got to be the leader there. Hit me with that huge damage sword. I think I... That might be it. On the bright side, they don't have bleed weapons. One of them had bleed weapons. Get away from my food. Um... But this is definitely it. That was a fast one. I will say that. Absolutely no way we recover from this head injury. Those bandits just got goat justice. Okay. Uh, thoughts. Stay here and wait. Um, see if he comes to. I don't think he's getting up. I think this is gonna be one of those instances where he heals all the way up to minus one and then it just poof, turns the other direction because he is well beyond. Did you just loot my sword? That is my family heirloom. Uh, okay. I hate that sucks. I am going to wait here uh, until he I don't know. There's a small chance he can survive, right? Because bandits just walked through, which means this is a pathing area for, who knows, slave traders, tech hunters. So, I it usually depends on how bad the bleed is. The bleed is not bad, um, but now it's getting worse instead of getting better. The point is, is it went way over my KO point uh, under toughness. So my health KO point is negative 16, which also kind of ties into if it goes below negative 16, you can't you can't recover from that on your own in a coma. Like it'll it'll go up to probably minus like negative 15 or something and then just turn around and skyrocket down. Okay, what's next? Faction furniture test. Uh, holy nation, citizen. We've done this one to death. Let's try it some more. Yeah, so a lot of the time it won't hit zero once it's at one if you've dropped past your KO point. Playing a female holy nation character is super difficult blend blend is a perfect name for this guy one of these guys will take
Oh man, what is the plan? Okay, get the Blister Hill. That's how we start this plan. If I can get to Blister Hill without dying. Sandstorm's gonna help. Try and take some really crazy route and do a do a holy nation assassin. Oh, Fall. Definitely should have named myself Fall. It's a common... Uh, I think this guy's just a generic, like, Holy Nation um, traitor. But I think he's always named Fall. I think. Or it's just very common that he's named Fall. What are we wearing here? Boots? Oh. oh, oh God, loading. I almost got that compressed textures pack, but to, to stop a bit of that loading, but it makes the game look terrible. And right now the game is looking crispy. Just fantastic. I guess it depends what resolution you've got the stream set at, too. Uh, okay, now that we're in Blister Hill, my plan, and it's a terrible one, is to... See if now, I don't even know if they're going to be there on Reactive World, but north of Blister Hill, skeletons uh, kind of congregate up here around the mountains, and so do Paladin patrols. I'm going to try to lead one into the other, uh, and that accomplishes a few things. One, every skeleton I give to the Holy Nation, it bumps up my reputation with them by a lot. And every katana I collect from the skeletons gives me a ton of cats. Because I can sell them for a lot. Now the problem here is that my run speed is not that great yet. My neck is so sunburnt. Oh. So sometimes you even see them here, but here's a problem I'm running into. We are at global population multiplier times four, okay? And there are barely any people out and about. We got river raptors at the moment. Which, by the way, if you're brand new, despite the fact they look easy to kill, they have extremely high cutting damage, and you will bleed to death. Uh, 
I don't know if this will work out. Mao is also a Holy Nation traitor. And his caravan guards aren't that good, though. So they might just get absolutely decimated if I lead too many skeletons over to them. No sign of any robots yet. Oh, spoke too soon. Okay, so. Now. They have 29 athletic. No, I have. They have 29 athletics. I have 7. So here's the problem. The odds of me being able to fight these guys is low. So my plan at the moment is to follow along. Until they get into a fight they can't win. I mean, there's better plans out there. But I think this one really has a chance. Oh, wow. No, I changed my mind. Absolutely no chance. There's an army of them. Oh, I might have to do like a skeleton army playthrough. Do the uh, five nobody start and make them all skeletons, maybe? Bit of a dead end here. Where do we think these robots are going? I'm trying to play it a little more safe, just so I don't just so I don't burn another playthrough right away. It's also extremely safe to travel with robots, but maybe not very holy nation y of me. Okay, back to Blister Hill. We know that they're there. We know that they're around that area. So now we just need to wait for the perfect storm to occur. Which is which which could be we could be looking at it right now even okay yeah there's tons of these guys perfect I think bounty hunting is safer. Bounty hunting is way safer than trying this. These guys are going the wrong way, though, which is unfortunate. You know which way they are going, though. Uh... Oh, they're just going to be boring and circle all the way around there. Okay, back to Blister Hill.
There are a ton of these skeletons, though, so that's a good sign. Yeah, they're everywhere. It also looks like some of them have quite a bit of armor on. Okay, step one, know your enemy. Consider them studied. Okay, so that would have been perfect. We got our patrol. Now we just need to find skeletons. Sometimes they're down here. Sometimes they're across the bridge. There's another Holy Nation patrol. Awesome. Okay, let's try this here. Let's uh, hope we can entice some skeletons. And not die. Open for skeletons. Ha! This is one of the worst ideas I've ever had. Okay. Here he comes. Way faster than I can run. Nope. Bought this game a couple months ago and it makes me realize how old my computer is. Can't run it. You know what? Even on new computers. Uh, Zulu it can be pretty stressful because the way it um, it was built with kind of an older game engine I shouldn't say older just not a not a typical game engine okay this isn't great uh, holy nation patrols nowhere to be there they are go I wish I could just play chase music right now. What if we played like copyright free horror music? That might fit the bill. Let's try that. Look, if this is brutal, you gotta let me know. Oh, uh, uh oh. That's a lot of robots and zero Holy Nation people. There they are. These are not the agents of darkness that we're concerned about. There they are. Okay, this is awesome. This could not have worked out any better at all. Except that I've got robots still chasing me. Actually, all these Holy Nation guys might die. Yeah, real chance. Real chance that's going to happen. Oh, he's still coming for me. Not great. Oh, ow. That was my left arm. Please save me, Holy Nation brothers. Uh, okay. So far, so good. Plan's working out. No, it's not. He's so angry. Okay, this guy is tenacious. And there's so many robots. I don't know if the Holy Nation can, can handle this. Help me! Pretty sure that was aimed at me. I'm leaving. I'm out. We're out of here. Oh, but there's a skeleton sword right there. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm so dead. 
Don't kill me. There it is. One broke off. Nope. He's back on. He's back on the trail. Oh. Oh, right in my noodle. Okay. Uh, there's only one course of action here. Run back all the way to Blister Hill and hope that my head damage and my left arm damage don't slow me down too much. Then we gotta get back up to the scene of the crime. Kind of one of my favorite things about uh, Kenshi is that it's whatever you make it. I've played this game hundreds of times, just like this. Solo Iron Man, uh, every decision kind of matters. <laughs> and it, it's it's always different and it's always fun. I like any game, any game that gives you that, that kind of freedom of creativity. This is going to work out. It wasn't really the plan, but this is going to work out. I really wish I could have uh, stayed. I really wish I could have stayed up there. What? Can we talk about this? Why? Um, why are they mad at me? Why are they mad at me right now? Are you kidding me? No, no, this isn't happening. Why is everybody trying to kill me? <laughs> okay. Well. That's that's the kind of good news I like to hear, Zulu. Oh, okay. He is going to capture me. How long is my sentence? This is brutal. Heal me. Oh. Ah, just an Inquisitor. I thought the Phoenix came up to heal me. It would have been amazing. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Sentence remaining. Ten ah, 10 hours is a breeze. Welcome to prison life. Did you try to? I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. No. I sure didn't. Um. Okay. So this should be kind of good. Wow. Those skeletons are in for a treat. And they left their weapons on the ground. That's fantastic. At least one of them did. The other one should be tossed into jail with me, or at least nearby. And they shouldn't care if I disarm him while he's in prison. So hopefully I can sit here and serve my prison sentence for the next eight hours. Hover over the bounty. What's the crime? Uh, assault? I'm. That's not right, though. I didn't once attack a holy nation guy, so there was a little bit of wild clicking there. But I'm not that. I'm not that crazy. Uh, Josh says I always had the best luck with the slave start. I find they won't kill you and you can build your skill up. Oh yeah, starting in rebirth is is basically a cheat code, right? So we got a heavy pole arm out there that's worth a lot of money. So I mean kind of mission accomplished. We got a little arrested in the process, but mission accomplished nonetheless. Uh while this guy is sitting in prison, I will be right back. Now I think when I get back, let me know how this uh it wasn't it was for not enough assault on... Yeah, you didn't assault them enough. Um, when I get back, let me know if this soundtrack is bonk or if I should keep it on. It's just like a copyright-free horror soundtrack. But I'm looking for music because the Kenshi music is not reliable. Be right back.
Muted. <laughs> or before anybody says it, I know. Um... is a bit of a delay. Appreciate it. It's almost time. Uh, then I have to go find my skeleton friend. And ooh. great, thank you. Uh, there is one of them. A ten second latency, according to YouTube. Okay, I've got it on low latency, so I could try ultra low. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what kind of quality I would lose or gain. Maybe I'll try my next stream on YouTube on ultra low. That's interesting. No prison cells. They might have taken the other one. He's not up here. I did not see him in there. He might be in here. Hmm. Can't seem to find him. Well then, let's go see if there's any more skeletons. Or just their weapons from the aftermath of that battle, however it went. But this should be worth a lot. Yeah, 3,600. Wow, 3,600 if I sell it. Down from almost 15,000 cats. might even still be fighting or fighting new ones. Okay, there's black blood there, so that'd be oil from a robot. Amazing. Now, this could get me in a lot of trouble with the Holy Nation if they see the Skeleton Repair Kit, I think. 
Are there two here? Or just a one. Wow, this is gonna be awesome. I just don't know if I should I'm gonna keep grabbing these I just don't know if I should because I think if these holy nation guys search me I'm done for not that these guys will but at the gates they might Not too fond of technology these fellas This is cool, kind of picking through the wreckage of a battlefield. There's two robots. Whoa. Uh, most definitely is two robots. That is awesome. No, 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 no. Gotcha. So I wish they had better armor. I think I'm going to get rid of this and this. And I'll keep the full one. I'm just so... I'm so scared of getting caught and <laughs> attacked. Uh, this guy had a sword that I don't think I could carry. So I should put it on. Oh, awesome. Ninja pants. Okay, awesome. Now, let's hope the guards don't decide like they want to attack me. Uh, and that the Eye of Sauron does not get too angry. What the? Don't stare into that for too long. Maybe we'll come across... <laughs> Wreckage. A little more wreckage. Severed arms. Ooh, ooh, actually, was that the Hungry Bandit leader? You need those flip-flops, sir. You can have those boots. Best of luck to you. You are a smart... Smart man, Zulu. Person. You are a smart, smart person. Okay, look at me. Not being a bad guy to the Holy Nation. Matter of fact, hey. I'm sitting here. I'm bringing in a bounty. Better than you could ask for. Now, that is... Born Saber is a good one. I also really like that Ringed Saber. The Katana's just insane. Uh, I think I'm going to use this Ringed Saber. Uh, that Foreign Saber is awesome too, though. This is tough. This is a tough decision. Or I could use this long cleaver. Yeah. 
it's interesting, you know, there's not as much light in holy nation cities as there are as there is in some other cities. I kind of like the creepy vibe walking through the creepy Holy Nation city at night with a skeleton on my back. Oof, loud machinery. General storage? Must have been a power station. I don't know if they have biofuel batteries in there or something. And why is the armor shop open at one in the morning? This could go badly. He may yell at me to get out of his shop. You have a copy of the Holy Flame, brother. Matter of fact, I do. Um, so what were we thinking? Sell the Nodatch. Definitely sell the polearm. Definitely sell the Nodachi. It's, come on, 6,300. What I would like is a good, uh, good tin can, actually. But, let's start with this. That's expensive as heck for not a lot of benefit. Uh, we got some dust storm there, some acid there, so we're good for acid. Uh, not as good for dust storms as we could be. And I don't even really want to try to sell. Sure, he's shopping. No need to get the paladins here smashing the place up. Oh, man. So the guard is actually yelling at me to get out, I think. Thanks for visiting. May the light protect you, brother. Nice. So yeah, he was actually yelling at me to get out, I think. His guard was. And the storekeeper was defending me? I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, attack is minus four. Oh, I think I'm going to rock either the ringed saber or the foreign saber. I'm a huge fan of sabers. Now, the bakery. Do we think I can get away with selling... Usually bakeries are kind of thief hideouts, right? You know what? Let's just part ways with our uh, skeleton skeleton bounty here. I'll, I'll put him in. I got this. Don't you worry about it, guys. Hup! Did my, uh... And he's free for some reason. Fifteen? But is that just the amount you start with? Okay, look. I'm gonna attack this guy. My friend, I'm very sorry. Wrong place, wrong time. What is going on here? I didn't just swing and miss, you know? <laughs> I got this. I'll just get in myself. Don't worry about me. Oh, I don't take everything. If they take, I'm taking everything out. Seems so mad at me still. All right, well, back in prison while trying to do the right thing. Right thing. What? Oh, 
Oh no, they're taking him. Leave him on the ground. They took my ring saber. Damn. I think it'll just be in this bucket or something, but even still, better to wait it out. But hey, that's two hours. Uh, I thought that was a pretty fun first YouTube stream with Kenchi. Um, man, three, three or four, three or four just shutdowns. Uh, the first two were pretty good. This one's turned out to go be going pretty well. Uh, I may have to import this save when I pick up this uh, stream again, only because I think a couple things are broken, like the guards keep throwing me in there for no reason at all. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for hanging out if you did, and thanks for catching this later if you did. I've played a ton of Kenchi Solo Iron Man, and uh, kind of like the description says, I'm not the best at video editing. It takes me a lot longer than it should, but I will be streaming this from now on. So if you're stopping by and you have any questions about how to solo Iron Man or how not to solo Iron Man, which is something I'm more of an expert at, uh, let me know. Anyways, take it easy. I hope to see everybody back. Thanks, Josh. Have a great night.